This is another Legacy Grinders deck. I retweeted his post. He's Cloud on uh, on Twitter. Plays a lot of Death and Taxes. He originally developed this deck for uh, the Ren and Six metagame. Because Force of Virtue makes Ren and Six look really silly. And then I played a version, I played a version of this in Modern the other day and went four and one. And then he played this deck in Legacy to like a 9 and one uh, I made a couple of changes. I'm not playing the Angel, because the Angel eats up a lot of sideboard slots. And then I'm playing the fourth Force of Virtue, and I'm only playing three Thalias instead of four. And I'm only playing three City of Traders and one Caracas instead of... Or I'm playing two City of Traders and one Caracas instead of three City of Traders and two Caracas. Um, and then I, I, for the extra sideboard slots, I've got a new Mizawas and a couple of Dust to Dusts. I haven't faced anyone playing Urza's Saga in Legacy lately, but I think Dust to Dust seems like a funny answer, so I want to try it out. Could also go down to three Force of Virtues, or three Solitude. I like what Catcher's Monument a lot. It should be easier to fit like medallion into a curve. I think it's worth trying out. Now you want gin? Oh, I'm sorry. If it makes you feel better, I'm mixing it with some um, some San Pellegrino, sparkling orange and prickly pear beverage, and I expect it to be delicious. Gin, some uh, some drum shambo gunpowder Irish gin. Play the squadron hawk here over the conquistador because I didn't want to run into days. Should I play Chalice on zero? I kind of feel like no. Also, I regret pitching my Anthem in retrospect. Just trying to get some Hawks out of my hand before I start playing Conquistadors. Gunpowder tea. So flavor known as. Well, playing it on zero might hit me if I draw Chrome Mox, and it's almost certainly not hitting the opponent. So. Just playing it on zero would be pretty bad, right? It doesn't really matter if we intend to play it on another number or not. Gunpowder. Gunpowder team, Moses the Coot. 
answer one question, you just get fucking 10 more. <laughs> Sounds good. It's good gin. I enjoy it. I did not spotty tail him. I'm not I'm not a gin expert, Drizzed. Or Drix. I don't know what, what the difference between Irish gin and English gin is or, or what have you, but that sounds like something that would be really easy to Google. They're just firing out stuff to power up the Uro, I suppose. I have not considered Skull Rack, nor will I. I do not think that card is playable. Even with the pile of Hawks. Once you have your Hawks, you should be winning, right? What are you trying to draw? More Hawks? Third Squadron Hawk plus backup Chalice could be okay. Ooh, Cavern Harpy. So we're facing um, Allure in here. Now that I know they're on Lurin, I'm much more likely to play a Chalice on two. I also understand why they force Suppression Field. <laughs> they probably have a hard time beating that one, huh?
The opponent is playing Lurin's Body Tail. People play Cavern Harpy with a Lurin. And I'm wondering how much, like, Umizawa's Swords of Paw shares if I want those types of cards. Cannon stops the Lurin combo. But we have a lot of other cards that already do that. And it also stops me from playing like multiple Hawks in a turn. So I'm not sure I actually want Cannonist. Yeah, if they're Monarch, if you're the Monarch, Court of Grace gives you a 4 4 flyer. You do not want. Whatever you're asking about, Jackpot. <laughs> I don't think you want it, no. This all looks fine. supposed to mull this just because there's no disruption Yeah, good league, Zajad. We're in league number two right now. We went four and one with Bant Control. And now we're up a game against Aluren. Well, they not only don't want to pay four to fetch, but they also like can't use Squadron Hawk through Suppression Field very effectively. And that's their whole deck, right? Yes, the, <laughs> the round that I timed out was my only loss with the last league. Cavern Harpy, sorry. I wonder if I wanted Rest in Peace. Play as a one of to deal with Uro permanently. Band deck. The band deck literally won the last major tournament, notice. <laughs> I think the cover might be blown on that one. Talk Stompy, the deck I'm playing right now, the deck in front of you right, right now. You are watching it perform. Pretty much everything you need to know is, is currently happening in front of you right now. <laughs> 
What is this? It's cheese. What is this? That's cheese. What is this? Pineapple thinks the 43 months. Ooh, forest. Get forest meme. All right. turn after I like trade my board for an arrow. Uh, that's alright. We'll get it on the rebuy. Catcher's Monument is a legend. So you usually don't play the second one. I say usually. I should I should rephrase. I don't usually play the second one. You you might. That might be a, a thing that you do on, on the regular. I have so many fucking lands to pay for my suppression fields. Hey, Lady Danger! Thanks for the raid. Welcome, raiders. You don't need to do anything sweet? You have a dope stream? Hype AF. So we need a land if we want to hard cast this solitude. What does this thing do? Minus five doesn't do anything. Played some Mardu Sealed in Modern Horizons 2. Nice. Yeah, I've been really enjoying that format, the Modern Horizons 2. I played my first Sealed the other day and, uh, and had a really good time with it. Yeah. I guess I'm like pitch casting on the Euro. I probably want to do it now, huh? Actually, we, we trigger a catcher's monument. We get a 1 1 out of the deal. I want to do it now so we can't hard cast a force of will, is the reason to do it now. Hey, own factor. Thanks for the 51 months. Glad you're enjoying the stream. Hey, thanks, Lady Danger. We'll do. Hope you have a great evening. No, my chalice. Does anyone think True Name Nemesis was tested? Absolutely. I'm sure they tested the shit out of it in uh, EDH, the format it was intended for. I haven't seen True Name cast in a while. We need one of our other hawks. I know you're a monster. Let's go ahead and take two here.
That's true. And Trinium is still solid in fish. Do people play fish? I know people have been monkeying with it in modern. I haven't seen anyone try it in Legacy with the new uh, the new fish cards. Could be fun. God, the Sylvan Library is so brutal. <laughs> like a 30 life or whatever. I'm gonna pack it. Let's go to game stream. Yeah, let's play one rest in peace, maybe. Just like one. And like one of this. I don't know, I'm a little iffy on the Umizawas. Because they have abrupt decays and stuff. Maybe rip, and, rip is bad. Rip, rip is bad, we've got humilities and things. How do you feel about Thallium? Humility is Phil Foglio, alright, yeah. Creatures might be wrong. Zan desperately needs some critters, some hawk action. At least the Zan doesn't care about Uro very much with their Crocus in hand. Did I ever think I was going to play Quadamiri's Call and Legacy? Um, it's not that surprising. I tried out Quad of the, the Blue Pitch Garden. You know, the Chalice decks. I think I force a virtue here. Chaos on two is almost interesting. It does hit a lot of my deck. I'm just gonna play another Conquistador, I think. Or maybe even Redundant Chalice on one. Oh, let's Conquistador here. Continue the aggression. Chalice on two does not prevent Abrupt Decay. Abrupt Decay can't be countered. If we run out of stuff to do, I think I would rather play a redundant Chalice on 1 than play a Chalice on 2. We would need some information about their hand before we Chalice on 2, I think. Look at 
We got our soldiers down to two twos. Dan Ben, thanks for 44 months. Howdy indeed. Yeah, that's pretty brutal. That's what I was worried about, but like, I think you still make the attack. So right now we can find another Humility or another Anthem. Kind of like, kind of looks like Grist is just gonna show me what form. Bummer. I don't know what that means, Super Jivey. I do know that the deck creator was like nine and one when they posted about that about it. not even a Lurin. Why are they playing a uh, Cavern Harpy if they're not a Lurin? Just a valued Cavern Harpy. Is Grist actually good? I mean, any Planeswalker for three that spit out what spits out one ones on this board state would be good. So I would not I would not say that this game is evidence of that, no. Like a fucking Garrick Wild speaker would be good here, right? Grist is not a creature in play, just on the stack or in hand and stuff. Correct. Plan B of Valerian is just a grind. Very similar to Food Chain in that regard. Two is particularly brutal. The card's so good. You could play Planeswalkers. You could play Planeswalkers in any deck. Do you think Death and Taxes wants Planeswalkers? Do you want to play Planeswalkers in this deck because we just lost to a Planeswalker? Is that why? <laughs> is that why you think one belongs? If you're going to play any of them, then uh, the four mana Gideon that can Anthem is probably the best one. Because we're so go wide. Interesting. 
we can turn one Pearl Medallion, but it doesn't actually help us dump our hand, does it? Like, we're still just, like, playing a Foot Soldier on two. Maybe if we drew a Chrome Mox or something. It'll ramp me to the Samiri's Call. Want to play Flooring Monuments? I mean, we've already had a game where we had an extra mo monument rotting in hand. The disruptive cards, the chalices and the suppression fields and stuff, eat a lot of slots. Interesting. I wonder if we're facing Enchantress. They don't have Viorian exiled. So I'm not sure about this abundant growth. There were some new Enchantress cards printed. Wow. That's some fucking respect. <laughs> That's some respect for Battalion Foot Soldier. So we actually don't want a humility before we've filled up our hand, because they would lose the comes of the play trigger. Scroll Rack isn't the craziest idea someone was mentioning earlier. Feel like one. Are they in a Swords of Foot Soldier? They are. Fantastic. So far, the squad, the suppression field has not felt great. Like, I would have rather had another threat or something. Like Stoneforge Mystic or Angel, or... Stoneforge Mystic fits really well with the Ancient Tombs and stuff. Because you, like, go Stoneforge Mystic, go get Batter Skull, and they Swords it, and then you just, like, cast your Batter Skull. All the life in the world. We're at seven. Is it time to lose Determinus? <laughs> quite possibly. That is quite possibly what's going to happen here. Fuck. <laughs> Just the pause on the draw. I'm like, no. No. I'm not sure why I paid seven when I have the pearl. Well, if I tap these three lands, because you do need triple white for a Miria's Call, if you tap these three lands, how are you going to get to three mana for a Miria's Call without tapping both Ancient Tombs? 
Would you like to rephrase? Do you now understand why I paid seven despite having a pearl medallion? Are you, are you good? Math's hard, math's very hard. Counting to seven, real tricky. <sighs> Recruiter of the Guard plays really well in toolbox style decks. It doesn't really play well in decks that where the creatures already already tutor themselves, right? typically this condescending into questions? I certainly can be. Especially when the condes the questions are asked in a condescending manner. <sighs> Bye. I'm not sure why you paid seven. Despite having a pro medallion. Oh, what a good question. Oh, please let me sexually satisfy you for asking such a good question. Fuck off. Palace Jailer? I thought about Palace Jailer. It is pretty nutty. Cloud was playing a different... Um, a different thing in the board, huh? A different way of getting becoming the Monarch. I don't know if he was just trying it out because it's a new thing. Or if he thinks it's good. And Narset, no down tick, of course, because of the suppression field there. All of your utility cards that you're throwing out, like Spirit of the Labyrinth and stuff, have to compete with like the Squadron Hawks and like the theme of the deck, and cards that play well with them. So we're not we're not playing Death and Taxes here, right? We're playing something very different. Cut a squadron hawk? Yeah. Thalia is literally in the deck. You can look at the deck list if you like. You can suggest it. Two mana to bounce. Amazing. How's my night? Night's going great. I think we lose the City of Traders. Run Solitude out again. Correct, Crab Gun Berry. Squadron Rock already kind of breaks the humility parody. It's like I have four one ones. Your creature gives you a one one. That sort of deal.
I wonder if I should be playing this humility out, actually. So the Nero doesn't trigger him. The Guru's not amazing against Caracas, but... Oh, right, we don't want to... We don't want to nerf our own, uh, our own creatures. Our own comes to play creatures. Yeah, it's Cloud's deck, Crab Gun Baron. I tried not drawing lands. Yeah, right? Yeah, there's the game where we're, like, stalled on three lands. And then we've had a few games where we've just drawn infinite. So it goes. We only have one more squadron creature in the deck. I actually don't think playing Humility is crazy here. What do y'all think? I think I kind of like it. The Terminus trick no longer works with the Humility in play. Because they won't trigger anymore. So we don't have a reason to sandbag a hawk. For a second, I wondered why they didn't, um... I'll take the, the Teferi. Forgot about my own suppression field. Yeah, maybe playing the Humility was bad, just because, like, they are a Terminus deck. They've only used one Terminus so far. <laughs> it was, might just be the worst Humility play ever. <laughs> Fun, but, but just not a great play. You only want to play Misfield Planes if you're playing Fetches. You don't want to play Fetches in your Suppression Field deck. coming out for sure. Holy shit. I'm gonna the Pearl Medallion. I think the Pearl Medallion might be a, a failed experiment. Court of Grace, 100% coming in. I actually want, wish I had like multiple Court of Graces to bring in. Cloud had two Caracas in his list. I kind of feel like we should have two as well. We've got an error on my part. Who's also playing that angel? It probably belongs. I didn't like it because it eats up sideboard slots. But I have felt like I wanted like one more piece of gas. The modern version of this deck was getting extra gas that I played a few days ago was getting extra gas with like White Main Lion and Wall of Omens and stuff. White Main Lion with a Catcher's Monument is like infinite gas, so you're not, not really worried about running out. But this deck doesn't have that engine, so Angel is like more important, I suppose. The Angel that tutors more Angels from the sideboard. 
I think there should be like two in the main deck and then two in the board. Then you're only eating up two sideboard slots. Keeping another hand with no, uh, no squads. A little risky. You tried a modern 60 card variant with two. It felt right. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, Stoneforge would be another one. If I wanted to cut suppression fields, and so far during this league, that's what I've wanted. If I wanted to cut suppression fields, I think Stoneforge Mystic would be a fine one to bring in. How do we foot soldier or, or, or field, huh? I think we just field. I think you want to run those out sooner rather than later. Hopefully I'm not super wrong there. Oh. <laughs> Doesn't seem like I was super wrong. <laughs> Put it staring at their handful of fetch lands. Like, nope, not playing this game. Done. You win. Next. Fetches and one drops. Why does it say you lost the die roll on top? <laughs> this is game three. Yeah, I'll keep this shit. I am who I say I am. Needle? What are they needling? Fair enough. I should have let on Chrome Mox. See if we can beat a force. Force pitching hull breacher. Possibly the worst Terminus I've ever seen. Well, they didn't want the Terminus rotting in their hand, I guess. fill my hand with Conquistador quite yet. <sighs>
Yes. Fuck. We need like an ancient tomb here so we can start playing two dorks a turn. I'm not pitching a Hawk here because I want to play a double Hawk next turn. I'm not pitching a Foot Soldier because I've already lost one Foot Soldier. I would like the Conquistador and Foot Soldier to both be useful versus Terminus. Explosives for zero? Oh no! My Moxin! I guess that's fine. People like the idea of Mistville Plains and Wheel of Sun and Moon, so when they kill your hawks, you can get them back. Yes, I think it is too cute. Yeah, you're fine, Blognia. Nothing wrong with asking. Man, fuck this Terminus. I should have brought him rest in peace. Maybe over like one of the Solitudes. Oh, I did, but I pitched it under the Chrome Mox, sure. He had the option to pitch either it or Solitude. I held onto the Solitude. You get all the cards back? I'm aware. <laughs> I would rather have seven power in play to attack them with when they're at 10 life than to slowly play out one, two, two a turn. They have days in doing in their hand, and that's why they played a Narset here. Yeah, much better than the first Terminus, huh? That only hit one creature. I think they pitched uh, Days Undoing in the first game to a Force of Will. That's probably why they have Hull Breachers in our sets and stuff.
Yeah. Nice. Narsia costs two mana. I'm just gonna attack them. Because we can't clear it here. I'm actually gonna play this. Should be called ants. That sounds like a very confusing name. <laughs> Since ant is a uh... tech name already, right? So could I run out double foot soldier here? But I think I'm just supposed to play one in case of another terminus. Like the good Narset, but they chose not to. Twelve Hawk? Yeah, I was calling it Twelve Hawk. In uh, in modern, well, this is Cloud's legacy deck, and he was calling it Squad Stompy. So I thought it made sense to respect that. Oh, I should have ran the Ancient Tomb out in case of another day's undoing. No reason to hold it here. This is a hard cast terminus. It is. Cool. Two down this turn. Yo, come on, door door. Pretty close to getting Uro back. We don't currently have an answer to that. They aren't using Narsec because it costs two, and they've had stuff to do with their mana. This wouldn't be a bad turn for them to use it if they didn't have anything better to do. Just bolt them. <laughs> bolt them real well.
Is this going to be a four mana engineered explosives activation? It looks like it. Yay, planes, yay. Sunlance? Sunlance does not hit uh, opponents, unfortunately. God, could you imagine if Sunlance hit players? Are you buying Forest? They are? Okay, I'll scoop to that. You win, GG's. Oh, and two, but we did win a game off both opponents. In that game, we got them down to what? Two life, one life? Got them fairly low. Hmm. Yeah, hell yeah. Do we turn one suppression field or catch his monument is the question. I think we do the suppression field. Since we're on the play. Yeah, crazy game indeed. Did I have to scoop yet? Yes. Yes, I did. <laughs> they put it on top on the end of my turn, friend. Uh-oh. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, they have the spear guides <laughs> to pay for the suppression field? Amazing. I don't think there's any other activated abilities. I think the rest of this is triggered stuff oh shit what up hey red devil 666 thanks for the sub thanks for the 19 months casually getting turn one the most casual right turn one suppression field on the play not mattering at all we did make them pay well i guess it didn't it wasn't like it didn't matter at all like that we did make them pay two more mana <laughs> Yeah, dang triggered abilities. <sighs> you regret your bet? <laughs> Did you bet on me after I started 0 2? Doesn't seem smart. Ah, they had to hit themselves, hit the Dread Return, sure. Do we want another humility? I think suppression field comes out. That was probably probably not great. All right, I need one more card. I can play one solitude, one suppression field. Humility does stop fast as Oracle Yam. Null Rod for Petal and Chrome Mox. Yeah, it hits ourself, but we don't have to play it when we don't need to. I 
I think the bridging, we're probably already dead, Cobra. I don't think we need to turn it off. So this hand could turn to a humility, but I gotta wonder if that's fast enough. Probably not, but like, it's funny. <laughs> I should probably be mulliganing for either like a turn one rip or a fairy macabre or something. Oh, this doesn't even turn two humility. I need another white source. I shouldn't have kept this. Turn two humility has like a chance against some of their hands, but this hand doesn't. We would need to rip a chrome, uh, chrome mox. Well, shit. You're confused what happened last game? The opponent played a card that where they flip over cards off the top of their deck until they hit a land, and they're not playing any lands in their deck. So they just milled their whole deck. When they mill their whole deck, they hit an Arc Amoeba, where if it mills from their deck, it goes right into play. And then they just need to sack three creatures to flash back a Dread Return, which flashes back Thassa's Oracle, which wins the game if they have an empty library, which they did. So that's why we brought in our Graveyard Hayden. They did mold a four. They're probably still golden, but... <laughs> Nature's Claim? All right. Got me. Worst draw in the deck. attack first before we play our humility get that extra point of damage in all right time to shrink my stuff That's a great draw. We can't play it for free until their turn, of course. We're gonna run out of redundant humility because they did show me nature's claim. Right now I'm mostly worried about like a Belcher sideboard plan. Force of Vigor, I don't think, is a reason to not run out of humility. Still gotta play your stuff. Ooh. I think our clock's faster if we run out the monument first. Even if we're not playing anything else this turn. This deck does not play Martyr, no. Martyr would be an interesting card in Legacy. Because decks aren't really attacking your life total. Unless they're like Delver or something. Gibby wins! Well, we kept a terrible hand for the matchup. Won anyway. So that feels good. <laughs> Isn't that neat?
The same would be insane against an unknown opponent. Well, no force of negation, so that's a good sign. Chalice on two does not feel right. It locks out a lot of my stuff. Chalice on one, meanwhile, it turns off like Dark Ritual and stuff with a one lander hand. And Nidra's claim. Just like every single hate spell possible. The Containment Priest stops uh, Narc Amoeba from coming into play, which I believe means they lose here, because they're gonna deck. The, they've already targeted themselves the Balustrade Spy. So they'll untap with an empty library and just die. It was insane. Hand and the draw, right? Like, we needed the Containment Priest, and that wasn't in the opener. Match. <laughs> Yay! Squad up. If you look at it in terms of game count, we're four and five. That's not that bad. <laughs> Broke legacy. Destroyed the format. Will Squadron Hawk be banned? No, no, it will not. I do not want to hear a wild story. Thanks for offering. I don't really want to hear any stories. I want to I kind, of, I kind of want to play my deck. Play some Magic the Gathering here. Weird, I know. A parable? Hmm. Gee, I sure hope they don't chalice on one me.
gonna put your my mind at ease with a ballad. I could go for a ballad. We just got hymned. We've played more foot soldiers this this uh this league. Maybe that's the mistake. We needed to play more conquistadors. You see that main deck surgical? I actually don't hate it. With the control decks using Uro as a win con. If you're playing like a lot of discard, you hit the right card against a combo deck, you can just like shred them with a surgical. Liliana resolves. Would you like to uptick? I think they probably want to edict, Tom. Huh? Well, they can't, because it's a suppression field. <laughs> Amazing. Let's grab some more shit. <laughs> Let's grab some more trash. Him does seem embarrassing against these cards. They could have gotten the Conquistador out of the hand. How do you feel about Chalice? We didn't really see much out of their deck, so we don't really know how we want to be sideboarding. Like, I, like Suppression Field isn't hitting fetch lands, so I don't know if it belongs. We don't know if Humility belongs. I might just change nothing. I might just go with the old nothing swap. You think that was Pox? Hmm. In that case, Court of Grace would be a good board in. What if they're Stompy and boarding out Humility is just the biggest mistake? Liliana very rarely goes into Reanimator. I do not think they're on Reanimator. I don't think Box usually plays Chrome Mox. I feel like Mono Black Control, or like the Curse deck, or Stompy, I think those are decks that play Chrome Mox. Wait, did they have Chrome Mox? Yeah, with the turn one him. I don't think they can be an 8 rack that can play Chrome Mox. I'm if I want to pitch Forest, because I'm going to turn one Thalia. I don't think I do. I think I want to save some to bend to the court. Well, shit. There was something I could have pitched. Cards? I'm losing six life. Hopefully we draw lands, so we can run out foot soldier. Yeah, I like that that makes sense.
if they don't block, I play out Battalion Foot Soldier. Well, for one, I become Monarch, so I'm drawing two a turn. And then I play, play Foot Soldier, and the search is a May, so I just wouldn't search. If they, if they keep the Opposition Agent in play. Taking another six. Then that's probably enough, huh? Actually, actually, I probably should have discarded two cards here. <laughs> like, I'm still losing three a turn even if I take the Monarch from them. Right? Yeah. <laughs> they still have a three turn clock with this fucking thing. <laughs> yeah, I should have been to Force of Itchu and a Foot Soldier. Oh, I guess I can still discard two. But then it's but then it's eight card. Okay. We can't force a virtue in response to the him because of Thalion. Now I am the Mighty Monarch! Do I want a chalice? Don't really see the worst squadron hunk of all time here. Eh? I'm the winner! Is this the comebacks? Are we gonna three and two? Two and two to three? To, to, to fucking three and two seems real. The old 0 2 3 2. Just need one more W on the board. One of our losses was close too. That seemed like a favorable matchup. Yeah. What did that cost one to play? Because of the Thalia. Thalia makes non-creature spells cost one more. So if you pitch cast a Force of Will, you have to pay one, or Force of Virtue like we did. Water time? Got plenty of water, but thanks. This hand looks kind of cool. Probably pitching Solitude to the Chrome Mox, so we can use Call to play the Foot Soldier on two. We'll see. We'll see what they do. Run the draw here. Rainstorms? We've played against some rainstorms. We lost some lost to some rainstorms. I 
I no longer really want to pitch the solitude. Because it could hit a 2020. I guess I can block 2020s. I was playing against playing smog combo after this league, yeah. I made a few tweaks to it. Mostly the sideboard. I have a built-in paper too. I'm just missing Verdant Catacombs right now. So I'm all hyped. Fire. That's potentially a good sign. No, not Smog Doomsday, just Smog um, Green Black. Would be better to play more hate and less dorks. Maybe. I mean, you gotta kill the opponent somehow. It sounds like you wanna play Death and Taxes, which is another deck that you could play. The idea behind uh, all of these cards that, like, pull. Once you pull the Hawks and the Conquistadors and stuff out of your deck, like, you're no longer drawing them, right? And then they also make the pitch cards. So we've got Chromox, Force of Virtue, and Solitude as pitch cards. They make those cards a lot better. So that's the idea. You can kind of see the idea in, because we've pitch cast a lot of cards this game. But yeah, it's a little off meta, a lot of little fun. Not that confusing, but a lot of folks are confused by it, I suppose. Fair enough. This Feel of the Dead's about to start producing. I need some more Hawks. It just makes a 1-1. One, one. It's fine. Yeah, I guess I double hawk here. Thespian Stage? They do play Thespian Stage, Dark Depths, yes. Thespian Stage also combos with Urusu's Saga, I suppose. I don't know how often that comes up. Trigger on the sack, sack into crop rotation, sure. It's triggering. Hmm. Wasn't that all? 
obnoxious, huh? I guess I pay to keep my hawks alive. Okay. Okay. What we actually need is like another force of force of big game. Sacked the Thopter to the Retrofitter Foundry, the trigger on the stack. Might have been good. Yeah, they're usually a bit weak to storm. Take eight. I think that's fine. It's not really fine, but I don't want to let them gain life here either. Play this Chrome Mox, make it easier to pay for a Tabernacle. Got another Maze of Ith. down to six different types of land or field. I don't know if they intend to keep on making zombies though. You've never seen two maze? I've seen fucking four maze. Zombies biting the dust, dust here. For life with Sylvan Library. Interesting.
Fuck. We're one mana away from casting this chalice. On two to shut off Punishing Fire. So we're gonna get another Hawk. Close game. We almost like need to hit a land here so we can chalice on two and save our last hawk. Hey, sup, Cloud? Yeah, we're two and two here. Probably gonna drop this game. Yeah, the Cradle was really good for them, because now the Tabernacle can pay for mana. Thespian stage can copy Maze of it if they want. This turns a huge bummer. So we can run out the Chalice on two and stop the Punishing Fire action, but the Punishing Fire kind of did its job, bought them enough time to get their stuff rolling. So we're saving our last Hawk, but it like almost just doesn't matter anymore. So close. Yeah, second force of virtue this game, I think, would have won in the mid-game there. Do this now so they don't um, get any value from the selfish reclaimer. Right? 
Lands is an expensive deck. It's not expensive on Moto. It's an expensive deck in Legacy because uh, Tabernacle is an expensive card. That's the main reason. Mox Diamonds are fucking crazy these days, too. They don't run Candelabra anymore. Yeah. I haven't seen Candelabra in a while. I just trade with this thing. I think now I don't play the Thalia. Because we're a mana away from Amiri's Calm. Thalia runs into Chalice anyway. Fair enough. Fair enough. Multiple reasons. Multiple reasons not to cast the Thalia. Now we just need to draw a few more Amiri's Calls. <laughs> I think we actually burned two already, so that's not likely to happen. But we might draw one more. I think there's one left in the deck. You dislike offering Conquistador for zombie trade? Well, my Conquistador is indestructible, so you could say that I also dislike that idea. They have so much mana for this Retrofitter Foundry. They can turn another one of these servos into a Thopter and double block Squadron Hawk. Maybe if I draw on another Anthem this turn, then we could have done something. I think I attack anyway. Are they going to triple block the Squadron Hawk? Just in case. Just in case of force. I like that. Or in case of a, um... One of the swords, right? Swords creature, Solitude. We'll break out a... Double block. Yeah, Mox Diamond is stupid expensive. I remember when they were like 40 bucks.
We could probably stretch this game on more and eat more of their clock and get them down to like 10 minutes and win the game on time or win the match on time. But the reason not to do that is that I'm bored and I would <laughs> rather just move, move the fuck on. Hmm. I think I like Court of Grace. Oh, I'm totally a dick, Hipster MD. I kind of want to rip. We didn't see Loam there, but we know that they play them. Play like two. Suppression Field's kind of good against Maze of Ith. Doesn't really hit their other stuff, I guess. That's not true, it hits some other stuff. I'm gonna leave in the, the suppression fields. I'm gonna bring in rips. Look up Pearl Medallion. Not every Dag Michael Benson. Death and Taxes is like a little over a grand. That deck's super solid. The Smog combo deck I'm gonna play next round is like a grand and a half. Built Ruby Storm for like 500 bucks. Do you wanna go out on Solitudes? I'm not sure. They do still like have the 2020 engine, you know? They still can make a fast 2020. So I'm not sure if I want to cut Solitude at all. Trim a Chalice. We could trim a Chalice. Chalice on one, like, does hit stuff against their deck. Crop rotations and explorations and stuff, and we are on the play. We could cut one, though. We could cut a Thalia. That's not crazy. It, like, almost hits me more than it hits them. Alright. What does Suppression Field do against them? Hopefully something. <laughs> Hopefully something. They have some activated abilities. If we had a suppression field that last game, they wouldn't have been able to double maze us all those turns. Makes that retrofitter foundry look pretty bad, huh? Containment Priest? Containment Priest is a 2 minute 2 2 in this matchup. I don't know why you would want it. It doesn't impact tokens at all. Nice. Understand? Ancient Tomb taps for a green if I want it to. I don't want it to. <laughs> I love it when people just like tell me what a card does. <laughs> I literally had to choose to tap it for colorless. It gave me the option. Four mana, one one. You got it, friend. Okay. 
kind of want to hold on to this immunity's call in case we want to um, hard cast it. We're not actually that far away. Interesting. So if they wanted to, they could use Thespian Stage to copy the Urza Saga and just have a permanent Saga in play. Oh, they don't have any more artifacts. Well, they got Mox Diamond, but they didn't have a land to pitch. Gotcha. But they still thin to Mox Diamond out of the deck. Not nothing, huh? I don't care how it works, Majeka. I just know that it does. I saw a judge explanation on Facebook that was like a fucking novel, and I did not memorize said novel. <laughs> not how I play this game. for their own reference right i mean i don't but i i don't i was answering i don't know i don't i don't know the ruling but that doesn't change doesn't change my answer do you want me to like dig through my facebook or root through it until i can find the ruling again because i won't do that i'm in the middle of something Yeah, let's run out the Thalia just to make the Punishing Fires a little bit trickier for them. Even if it does make it harder for me to cast a Miriam's Call. Now we'd have to draw another Soul Land to play it. Well, since I offered. <laughs> Commence the rooting. Well, fuck. This is very good for them. The suppression field was like how I was in this game. Yeah, I said another Soul Land would attack Larry. Not anymore. You're tired of getting Force of Vigor in? Yeah. Yeah, Force of Vigor is really good against this deck. Yeah, right, Turtle Power? I would never ask for Punishing Fire to be unbanned in modern. It is the most obnoxious card ever, and like punishes you for playing creatures.
Thanks, it's locked. So the suppression field would have stopped this from happening. Not blocking the Thalia. Interesting. We are, of course, at 28 here. This doesn't quite beat us. Sweet. Do I want like a one of dust to dust? Is that crazy? Seems kind of crazy. Yeah, I don't think I want that. That was game two, friend. <laughs> yeah, we were at 28 life. Their uh, Thopter generator could only make one blocker. They have two blockers. We have four attackers. They were at three life. Got him. To game three we go. If you sneak attack Grist into play, do you sack the Grist at end of turn? That is an interesting question. Why not cast Amiria there? Because we had a Thalia. You need eight mana to play a Amiria underneath Thalia. Hey, Cherry Magnolia, thanks for the five months. Glad you enjoyed the stream. Oh, that's true, you do get a cool point. Wait, is that an exploration? Exploration, no extra lands? Maybe I should have double chrome moxed uh, City of Traders turn one, and then played Suppression Field and Chalice. No, this is better. This is much better. Hey, Pony Slay Station thinks the sub thinks the 35 months. Box D coming in hot. Probably want to sack their Misty, yeah. At least that wasteland costs four fucking mana. We really need some critters here. Hawks might be the best at this point. Unless they have P fire. Interesting. So soul land and we can cast this calm. Force of figure is usually better when you have your pitch creatures, so you get to play it for free. It's like a free anthem. Pitch one hawk and then your other hawks are two twos, etc. Fifty-eight 
Fair enough. This Falcon Exploration's popping the fuck off. Do we want a Chalice on two? It shuts off our own Squadron Hawks and Future Suppressions. But it does stop them from loaming if they top deck a loam. We haven't actually seen loam out of them. They have to have it though, right? I think it is pass. Got me. I wonder if they play an expedition map for Saga. That would make sense, right? Just like a one of. Certainly looks like we're losing this game. It might have helped if we'd drawn a creature before turn six. <laughs> it might have been better. Alrighty, GG's. Well, a two and three run. Some close games there in the losses. Like the first game we lost against lands, we got them down to three before they managed to stabilize. Oh well. Yeah, I'm not sure I like Suppression Field. It won some games, but like drawing it also felt like it lost other games. I do think I want Stoneforge Mystic. I think the humility should be in the sideboard. But the fact that you can't preempt it. Pro Medallion felt like a dud. I like two monument. I think two monument was the right number. And then yeah, maybe you want angels too. Just as like one more thing. Cool. A fun little league though. Fun little league.